All right, this is first grade module two, lesson 10. And in this lesson, man, we're putting it all together in terms of adding using the strategy of making a 10. And because now we're going to throw in seven as one of our potential add-ins. And basically what that does is that allows students the opportunity to efficiently get the answer to a little simple little addition problem in a way other than just counting on their fingers. We want them um, to be able to use strategies. The idea of the number bonds is we're just making visible the kind of thinking that we want students to be doing in their heads. Ultimately, we don't want our students constantly drawing those number bonds, uh, but right now we're using those number bonds to make visible the thinking that we want to be going on in their student's head. Ultimately, students are just going to be able to do the work in their head uh, mentally without having to draw those number bonds, and that is what is called fluency. For the purposes of the video, I'm going to ignore the directions here because we're supposed to be solving these problems and then we're supposed to match with something on the right side. I'm ignoring that part. We're just going to practice using some number bonds, decomposition, in order to find the uh, sum using that 10 plus number sentence. So we're going to start with 8, uh, 8 plus 6, 8 being the closest to 10. It's kind of a nice way to think of it. It's not mandatory that way, but we're going to do it that way. 8 is pretty close to 10. It's only 2 away. It needs just 2 more in order to be a 10. So we're going to decompose 6 to be 2 plus 4. So our 10 plus number sentence becomes 10 plus 4, which is equal to 14. Now, parents and teachers, I don't believe this is what Eureka Math is expecting to see here. They were just expecting a 14, but I'm going to put in that 10 plus 4 to make it explicit so that students see that 8 plus 6 is equal to 10 plus 4, which is equal to 14. Therefore, 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. Let's continue. So we're going to take a look at 5 plus 8. And again, I'm going to start with that 8 because it's closest to 10, and I'm going to decompose that 5, and in this case, I'm going to decompose it to 3 plus 2, because that gives me, there's my 10. So my 10 plus sentence is 10 plus 3, which is 13. And once again, just to remind you, we, we use this strategy because 10 plus 3 is way easier to solve than 5 plus 8. And so we are going to use our decomposition in order to make 10 plus 3. There you go. So here we go. A, our first 7. So 7 is closest to 10, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to decompose that 4. And I know that I need a 3 in order to make 10. So 7 plus 3 is 10. There's my 10. So our 10 plus sentence is 10 plus 1. How did I get that? 10 plus 1. And of course 10 plus 1 is 11, therefore 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. So just to wrap things up here, um, 7 plus 8, let's just use that as an example. So we have 7 plus 8, and uh, just as a point of differentiation, remember if a student is struggling doing this using just the straight up number bonds, go ahead and tell them that they are welcome to use the number frames, the 10 frames. All right. So here we go. We've got 7 plus 8. So I've modeled 7 right here. I've modeled 8 right here. And they have a choice. Students have a choice. They can either take these three and move them over here to make a 10, and if they were to do that, our decomposition would be, whoa, Let's see if I can erase that. I can, yay. Our decomposition would be, um, if we were to do take this and move it over here, our decomposition would be 3 plus 5, and here's our, our 10, because we took the 7 
and turned it into a 10. So that becomes 10 plus 5 is 15. Now, another way we could have thought of this is we could have said, all right, 7 plus 8. And we could have said, all right, well, let's put this back over here, 7 plus 8. And instead, we could have taken the 2 and completed the 10, filled in that 10 frame, in which case our decomposition would have looked like this. 5 and 2 is 7. 5 and 2 is 7. And then there is our 10, so we end up with 10 plus 5. In both cases, we get the answer of 15. The other way to de um, differentiate this, parents and teachers, is to remember that there's other ways we c could decompose. Some students may want to get really fancy and decompose both numbers. So we would end up with 2 and 5, and 5 and 3, and here's our 10. So we have, we end up with 10 plus 2 plus 3, and 10 plus 2 plus 3 is 15. So there's another way. So the idea, parents and teachers, is um, allow the power of UDL, Universal Design for Learning, to take place, take over, and allow students the privilege of choosing how they want to decompose these numbers in an, as long as, right now in this theme, is as long as they're trying to make a friendly number like 10. That's kind of our goal at this point. And that wraps up first grade module two, lesson 10, where we are using that friendly numbers system to add seven, eight, and nine, and uh, solve those problems using that friendly numbers strategy.